Hey, so today we're going to be talking about two ingredients that we're getting a lot of questions about. And these ingredients are propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin. So you might be familiar with them by their nickname. So propylene glycol often goes by PG and vegetable glycerin often goes by VG. And We've been getting a lot of questions here at Ardent about whether or not you can infuse into these ingredients and if so, how well they act as a solvent for bringing THC and CBD and other cannabinoids out of the plant and into that material so then you can use it in all these different products. And just a little background on vegetable glycerin and uh, propylene glycol and we'll go into this more in another video of just kind of the best practices and uses for these products. Products. But, um, but these are used in a ton of different environments. So they're often used in food, they're often used in cosmetics, and people are really interested in whether or not and how to best infuse these. So we went and, like we do, did some testing and took a gram of cannabis and infused it into one ounce of vegetable glycerin and one ounce of propylene glycol. And you might be surprised at the result. The vegetable glycerin, um, really didn't do well at all. It actually had little to no infusion, while the propylene glycol was a fantastic solvent. So we were able to get north of 90% infusion uh, in the propylene glycol. And so you know when we're using about 20%, uh, 18, 20% THC um, in the decarb material that we're able to get 170, 180 milligrams per gram in an ounce. Um, and you can dial up and down that potency by using less or more of the propylene glycol to get you there and um, but yeah that might be a little bit surprising to you so check out the testing results um, click below you'll be able to see the actual testing from the infusion so check it out come back and see more that we have for you here at Ardent um, we'd love to show you all the best ways to use cannabis and bring the science right to you at home